Well, yesterday was surely hot and humid, and today will be just about the same. We're dry and quiet. Still have a chance for showers and storms later on. Much of the day will be dry and just muggy and warm. We have another clean air action day, mainly east of 131. You can see the orange here, unhealthy for sensitive groups. But similar to yesterday, I don't think anyone will have a problem staying more inside to uh, get away from those elevated ozone levels because we have temperatures already like this this morning. We are mainly in the lower to upper 70s, lower to mid 80s around the I-94 corridor in Kalamazoo at 85 degrees this morning. Very warm for our morning hours, our dew points in the upper 70s, which are really oppressive. And we sat there yesterday too. Yesterday's highest dew point was 79 degrees. The record high dew point, 81 from 1995. So we were not that far off from that record high dew point. And this is making things feel that much warmer. We're slowly going to lose this. Not today, though. Tomorrow we'll still feel a little bit of mugginess. We're finally going to get some relief throughout the weekend. In the meantime, though, we do have a heat advisory, excessive heat warning, as once again today, we can have those feel like temperatures in the triple digits, and we're not alone with this. A very similar setup all across the country today. Dry and quiet, those showers and storms off to the east side of the state uh, will stay dry for a majority of the day. It's not until later on this evening that we have the chance to see some of these showers and storm. Future Trek this morning wants to try to bring this back. We'll see if anything can really break this cap and work back in our region, but I think things will wait until later on this afternoon and this evening with the potential of that scattered shower or storm. So something we'll watch for throughout your Thursday. If any of those showers or storms do break the atmosphere, we can have them on the stronger side. We're in the slight and marginal risk for severe weather, wind and hail being some of our bigger concerns. We're already breezy this morning, especially around the I-94 corridor. And throughout the day, we'll keep a bit of a breeze. It's going to put Lake Michigan around one to three feet for those waves as again, in the evening, we have the chance for that shower or storm. And that's where your Thursday bus stop planner looks as well. 86 degrees at noon, 91 at 4, feeling like the triple digits at times. Uh, with We're losing that sunset then at 8.30. So it is Thursday, the first night of our Fox 17 Blitz, the game of the week, Cedar Springs at East Grand Rapids. Should be primarily dry for much of the game, maybe a shower early on if anything develops, but I think we'll stay uh, mainly dry for the game and then dry overnight, 68 degrees. Uh, still warm and muggy, though, overnight and warm and muggy through tomorrow. Much of your Friday dry, it's Friday overnight to Saturday with a frontal boundary coming through, and that's going to give us a really slim chance of a shower or storm. But behind that, that's where we find cooler and drier air that we're gonna settle into for the weekend, which I think will be welcomed after yesterday and this heat today. 84 tomorrow, 76 on Saturday. There's that more comfortable setup for the weekend, even heading into next week. Our only rain chance right now is Tuesday morning.